Guys, this is the Credit Card Maestro. Today I wanted to talk about TSA PreCheck versus Global Entry, uh, what they are, and is it really beneficial for any traveler or a specific type of traveler. Again, guys, once I get to 500 subscribers, I'm giving away two $25 Amazon gift cards. We're almost there, just about 50-ish away, uh, maybe 52, 54. So let's get me there to 50, 500 subscribers, two Amazon gift cards, $25 each. Again, let's get into this video. So TSA PreCheck Global Entry, this is a expedited screening process, in my opinion, uh, when it comes to being in the airport. It does save time, um, and yes, I do have both of them. Uh, here's the difference. Uh, TSA PreCheck is for the United States only. Um, so in the States, um, if it's offered at your airport, which most of it all the time is, um, expedited screening process. So you'll see a very long line, maybe to the left or right of you, um, check, checking into the uh, airport, um, taking shoes off, making sure they have no dangerous items coming into the airport, uh, etc. Uh, TSA PreCheck helps with that. You are a trusted traveler or a known traveler, is what they call it. Um, you have it on your reservation, so it'll be on your airline ticket when you're giving it to the um, Department of Homeland Security. Uh, the people that sit at the, the table uh, in the front and they check your ID and all that good stuff, the, the agents, that's who they are. They go ahead and they check that. If you have TSA pre-check and they see your ID, you're good to go. You still get checked, but um, things like taking your shoes off, uh, you don't have to. And typically, it's a shorter line. Uh, now, sometimes because of the popularity of this um, product, it does get extremely busy sometimes. But in my opinion, from my experience, it's never as busy as the regular uh, screening process when everybody is just sitting in line for about an hour or two, depending on if it's rush hour or a popular airport of some sort. $85 every five years for this uh, service. Again, there are some credit cards that offer this, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the American Express Platinum. There are also some travel cards that also offer this um, perk as well. So they actually give you the money uh, to apply. So once you apply, they credit your account that $85. Uh, global entry is for coming back into the United States. Um, so everybody knows whenever you come back into the United States, typically the line is extremely long. But you always see the people maybe to the right of you typically. They just have their passport. It says global entry. And they just go right through and they get in the plane. Um, I remember the first time I saw this, I was in Fort Lauderdale's airport. And I was in line for about an hour. It was maybe about, it was about, it was about an hour, 45 minutes long. But there were people in this one line that were just flying through. And there was nobody in that line. Uh, the gate agent asked them, you know, what brings you back into the States? You know, they, they checked the passport, welcome back home. And I was like, well, sheesh, you know, who are they? How did they get that treatment? I did find out later it's global entry. That's $100 every five years. If you get the global entry, you get global entry plus TSA PreCheck. If you just buy TSA PreCheck for $85, you only get TSA PreCheck. It is really beneficial if you just get both. If you have $85, you should definitely have an extra 15 so just go ahead and get the Global Entry Plus TSA PreCheck. Now, I will give you guys a link in my description of the video. You do have to qualify. You do have to go to an interview at an airport uh, for these. Um, if you have no crazy record, um, criminal record, or anything like that, you should be okay. It is a case-by-case -case basis, though. They do want you to do an application online. They'll ask you a bunch of questions. Again, if you have no type of record, you should be okay. They'll ask you those questions again. Um, and then you go into it and you get approved, if you're approved, for the TSA PreCheck Global Entry Method. You have to go in for an interview. It took me two months to schedule an interview because from the day I got approved out, there was no availability at the Philadelphia airport. It took me two months to get the interview. So it is a little lengthy process, but it definitely pays off. Um, once you get into the airport, you go into this room with a bunch of TSA agents and they're asking you questions. Why do you want this? What is your purpose? What countries have you been to previously? Questions like that, they may differ, they may improve, but that's what I was asked. Once you are approved for that, they take your picture, and within about two weeks, you get your global entry card. Again, guys, I got global entry because I got TSA and global entry for it, and I got it with my American Express Platinum card, so the $100 that I paid for it was credited right back to my account within a couple business days. Um, if you want to try this out for free with just TSA PreCheck, Typically, if you have, you're, you're traveling with somebody, for example, in the United States, 
and they have TSA pre-check and you get on their reservation, nine times out of 10, you are going to be on TSA pre-check as well without paying. So if you wanna check the benefits out before buying TSA pre-check, do it that way. A lot of my friends have done it that way and they've gone ahead and gotten TSA pre-check, well, global entry for $100 and now they can go ahead and share that experience with their friends. So again, guys, definitely look into the global entry one instead. Pay the extra 15 bucks. It's only $100 every five years. It's gonna save you so much time in the States, out of the States. Once you get approved for this, make sure every time you book a reservation, under the known traveler number, you enter the, your known traveler number. That is what's gonna be printed on your ticket for TSA pre-check and global entry. This does not guarantee that you will not be stopped for a screening. The screenings are sometimes just randomly chosen for security. Um, it hasn't happened to me yet. I've been doing this for about two years, but my time will surely come. Um, again, this is for any traveler. You can be traveling once a year, twice a year, 100 times a year. Any traveler that wants to save time in the airport, this is definitely the card method for you. Again, get the $100 one instead of just paying $85. If you have a credit card that gives it back to you, perfect. American Express, Chase Sapphire Reserve. If you have a card that has no annual fee and doesn't give it back to you, it's only $100 every five years, so it's very cheap. Again, guys, subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it if you find it helpful. Again, guys, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you want to be um, eligible for a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card once I hit 500 subscribers. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Have a good day.